The topic of discussion is a wave particle, a nature of matter, or we say that the dual nature of matter. जब हम बात करते हैं dual nature of matter की, it means that it can show particle as well as a wave nature. सबसे पहले हम बात करते हैं Planck's quantum theory की. Actually, in Planck's quantum theory of radiation, it was finalized that the light shows a dual character, which means that it can behave as a material particle. As well as as a wave. इसी idea को extend किया Louis de Broglie ने in the year 1924. Louis de Broglie ने pre-existed phenomena को use करके एक relationship दिया. Relationship किन के दरमियान? It was a mathematical relationship between the wavelength of the electron and its momentum. यानी he proved that all the particles having motion possess a dual character. It means अगर हम बात करते हैं electrons की, protons की, neutron, atom, molecules etc. They should possess a dual character. Means they should behave as a material particle and a wave as well. And this is called wave particle duality of matter. So let's discuss the Louis de Broglie's concept. As I have already mentioned that Louis de Broglie used two pre-existing phenomena. As we know from the Planck's equation, and the equation is E is equal to h mu, where this E is the energy, h is the Planck's constant, and mu is the frequency. And the second pre-existing phenomena used by Louis de Broglie was the Einstein's mass energy relationship which is e is equals to m c square where here m is the mass of the photon and c is the velocity of the photon now equating equation 1 and 2 as we can see that the left hand sides of the equation are equal so the right hand sides will also be equal that is mc square will be equal to Planck's constant into frequency or we can write it as mc will be equal to h mu over c. From the Planck's equation we know that the frequency is inversely related to the wavelength that is mu is equal to c over lambda. So the frequency over c will be equal to 1 over lambda. So putting the value of frequency over c in this equation and we get mc will be equal to h over lambda. Now if this concept is applied to moving electron with a velocity v, so we c ki jaga v likh sakti hai. So mv will be equal to h over lambda or we can rearrange it as lambda is equals to h over mv. This is the Lewis de Broglie's equation for wave particle duality of matter. In this equation we have mathematically related wavelength with the momentum of the electron. This means that at a time a dual nature. As wavelength is for waves and momentum is for particles. We have developed a relationship here in which wavelength and momentum are mathematically related to each other. And this is Lewis de Broglie's equation for wave particle duality. Now let us consider an electron moving with a velocity of 2.188 into 10 is to the power 6 meter per second. As we know that the value of Planck's constant is 6.626 into 10 raised to the power 
minus 34 joule second. And the mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 31 kgs. Now let's try to find out the Lewis de Broglie's wavelength associated with this moving electron. As the formula is lambda is equals to h over mv, putting the values. That is 6.626 into 10 raised to the power minus 34 joule second, value of the Planck's constant. Mass of electron, yaad rahe, that is in kg, 9.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 31 kilograms. And the velocity, 2.188 into 10 raised to the power 6 meter per second. And the answer comes out to be, 0 0.33 into 10 raised to the power minus 9 meter. Yaha hum isko nanometer mein bhi report kar sakte hain. That is 0 0.33 nanometers. As we know that 10 raised to the power minus 9 is equals to 1 nanometer. So what conclusion can be made from this? Actually, this value of wavelength of electron moving in the first orbit of the hydrogen atom is comparable to the wavelength of the X-ray. और इसका मतलब है कि हम इसको measure कर सकते हैं. It means wavelength को हम measure कर पा रहे हैं for the moving electron. Now the question arises for proton या for alpha particle. As we know that a proton is 1836 times heavier. Then an electron. So, we can say that if we imagine a proton moving in a straight line with the same velocity as we have mentioned for the proton, its wavelength will be 1, 8, 3, 6 times smaller than that of the electron. If the mass has grown, the wavelength will be smaller. How much smaller? It has been observed that it gives a very low value hai in nanometers, for example. It is so that it moves away from the cosmic region as well. But value hai zarur. It means that it also possesses wave nature. Sirf fark kya pada? Mass badhne ki wajah se. As the mass of the proton is heavier than that of an electron. Sirf mass badhne ki wajah se, uski wavelength aur zyada Choti ho gai. Kitani choti? 1836 times smaller than that of the electron. And as we know that the alpha particle or the helium nucleus is 7344 times heavier than an electron. To kya hoga? So, if the mass is 7344 times greater than that of an electron, then its wavelength will be 7344 times smaller as compared to that of electron. Very difficult to measure that. So, we finally conclude that as the mass increases, then the wavelength associated with that decreases. But, they have a wave nature there. Now, let's talk about a stone, a moving stone. We consider that a stone of mass 1 gram is moving with a velocity of 10 meter per second. Then the de Broglie's wavelength associated can be calculated by the same formula. Putting the values, we have the Planck's constant as 6.626 into 10 to the minus 34 joule second. The mass in kgs is 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram. Yaad rahe ke humne mass ko yaha pe kilogram mein hi put karna hai. And the velocity is 10 meter per second. And the answer comes out to be 6.62 into 10 raised to the power minus 30 meters. Again, a very, very small value. The same conclusion that as the mass has increased, the wavelength associated with has decreased. This wavelength is so small that it cannot be measured by any convincible method. So, we say that the heavy particles have waves associated with them, but they cannot be captured 
and we say that the macroscopic bodies don't have the waves actually the phenomena is that every moving object has a dual character means it possess the qualities of the wave as well as the quality of the particle but as the mass has increased the wavelength associated with that has decreased so it will have major correct dobara bolne lagi hu so it will have the major characteristic of a particle and a very minimum character of a wave 